Hello world, Hello. boys and girls Shine your light bright like diamonds and pearls, diamonds and pearls. You could be anything in this world hey, Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Blast from the Past Movie Podcast I'm one of your hosts, CJ I'm Matt Mike Jeremiah J. White, and this is the podcast. We talk about movies from the past and if they should or should not be remade. And sometimes we just rip movies a new one because they deserve it. Or sometimes we don't like them. <laughs> or sometimes we just don't like them. Oh, that's it, baby, right there. So, welcome to the Platform the Path Movie Podcast, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, but, Jay. You want to hit them with the introduction so they kind of get an idea of where we're going with this. Ooh, that's right. If you don't know the famous line, nobody puts baby in the corner, there is a problem with you. Because it is probably one of the most epic lines and one of the most I guess romantic movies there is. Um, it's romantic. It's it's, it's, it's yeah. It, it is it's romantic. borderline classic. It, no, it is a classic. It is a classic. That's right. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, just by the epic introduction, we are going to be talking about the movie Dirty Dancing. Now I had the time of my life, and I never felt this. You know what? Like every. <laughs> Mike's like, what the hell? No, That's I, right. I know what we're talking about. Yeah, see, exactly, man. You know what's so funny is because I feel like every <laughs> dance I do either plays that song at some time yeah. or a wedding. That song literally transcends time. Like, and it's, it's and it's in every travel commercial ever. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go every travel commercial and I'll go say, Carl, you've been to a lot of white weddings. And, uh, oh, oh, oh. But you know what? I have white and Asian, but you know some uh, of people don't know. No, I'm not out. saying I'm not saying they don't know it. People, we know it. I, but this is I love this movie, but <laughs> it ain't playing at my wedding. <laughs> but so you mean to tell me if I was DJing your wedding, I play this song, you look at me kind of sideways. Everybody would get up to dance for it. Everybody <laughs> Like, what is... <laughs> Alright. It's a good song. It's a it good is, song, it though. Song. It's like a classic but song. Yeah, they just, they just sit down there and be like, alright, I guess we're doing that right now. <laughs> you better hit a... <laughs> now, <laughs> I, 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 had time, time, uh, I do have a master mix to this song. So, it, like, it mixes like a, it's like an old school mix and then it gets current. So, I mean, I understand what you mean, but damn it, it's dirty freaking dancing. I mean, you can't get any better than this. Like, it's ridiculous. Right. Like, come well, on now. I mean, in the movie, they do have the um, when when she first, I guess when she first meets um, what's his name's character, uh, Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze, Johnny, mm-hmm. uh, and, and they she first sees the dirty dancing. They're playing. Do you love me? Yeah. Do, do you, you love, love me? me? Do you love me? Hey. And then that that song. You can play that song. <laughs> people be dancing. For sure. <laughs> I guess so, I guess so. I mean, I had a black wedding, you know what I mean? It's a funny thing. First time I ever heard that song, Do You Love Me, was... Tiny Toons? No, oh. it was actually Family Matters when the episode oh. where Carl has his, like, old high school buddies that they used to have a singing group yeah. and they, they had a reunion and they performed that song and they were called Demones or some shit like that. <laughs> it was just a good song. Though. Anyway, so back to Dirty Dancing. So I think we... What year are Dirty... Dirty Dancing, I want to say, in 1987. Seven. There you go, I'm about to say 89. I was almost right. So... That came out in 1987, and I'm going to start off with my boy Jay. Jay, what was one of your favorite parts of Dirty Dancing? The Dirty Dancing? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) To be honest with you, that that scene that I was talking about when she first meets uh, Johnny, um, she... uh, she it's boring. She's at this they're at a resort and it's mm-hmm. boring to her and she sees Johnny, he's all cool and all, all the entertainers like these real cool guys, right? Yeah. They're kind of, I guess they're street she's used to the, the preppy rich boys and mm-hmm. and this one they're all street guys, something that she doesn't you know, she's not in she doesn't know about. So she's okay. intrigued. So she walked down to their cabin, they're throwing a party and they are getting their freak oh. on. They are <laughs> partying to the fullest. And Wait, like hold on, Jay. Let picking, me... pick, do the pick girls out. Oh, Some yeah. dude got a girl on the floor. Like they're doing all kinds of stuff, and it's like she's now, like, "Whoa!" Now, Jay, I gotta ask you this because I don't know if I can ask Mike this question. I don't yep. think he's been down this route before. <laughs> but Jay, would you say this movie, Dirty Dancing, right? Do you think the Dirty Dancing in this movie is worse or as bad 
as the freak dancing that you was doing in high school or even still to this day. It's the same. It's about the it's, same, it's right? It's the same thing. It's, <laughs> it's, it's nothing but what I was like, oh, that's what my grand, that's how my grandmother twerked. Okay. <laughs> that's what it is. It was twerking for my grandma. Okay. Twer <laughs> I'm just curious. Okay, so Mike. I can't say I ever danced like that. But, I, but I've seen it. You've seen it? <laughs> yes. I just find it, I just find it interesting about I'd say it's about the same as what what we see today. Yeah. So that was like their version of being ratchet. Right. Yes. And, and what you know <laughs> right. like, yeah, right. The, yeah. the difference the difference is they were facing each other for for most of the dancing. Because there, oh, there were times that's for, there it was were, more intimate though, maybe. Well, no, there's times when they when they have turned and they're you know the girls you know they're but to, yeah to D to B you yeah. know what I mean or B to D or whatever and then there's times when they're facing each other but they're in this time they're P to P you know what I mean like they're <laughs> hugged up on each other I yeah. mean it's, so they're both intimate it's just different ways and of being intimate of being intimate okay yeah. then okay then and, and what I don't what I like about it is this shows that dancing. A lot of times it's just dancing. Like like you can dance with this girl mm -hmm. and you can dance with this girl. It don't mean anything. Sometimes sometimes when you go out, it's just whatever you're feeling. It's yeah. whatever you're feeling. It's, yeah. an, art. it's an art. It's a really it's an art. Fun. I mean, because yeah. they they dance to a movement. I think maybe because our music has changed, and that's what it was. Our music is more vulgar versus right. the music yeah. that they had back then was like, come on, times our lives, and they were dancing sensual to that song. Well, I think times times of our lives. Isn't that like a newer song, or is that? I thought that was a newer song that they, they they made that song in '87, basically. Yeah. And then, even though this movie takes place, it's, it's in takes place in like in the, the '60s. 60s. Yeah. yeah. So like, Times of Lives is like '80s song that they just put in there to make it like. No, I feel you, but what I'm saying is even okay, okay, I understand the '60s song. I get that. But what I'm saying, even though for the '80s though, that was, still would have been a, uh, those dancing I mean, stills would have been one of those things where it's like. Damn, that's that's kind of that's kind of close, mm -hmm. but yeah, okay, but the, the song they even choose to play for the for that for that was, and they were dancing real sensual to the song, and it's a sexual it's not even a sexual song really. Tell mm -hmm. you the truth, it's just about this is our last time spending night together. And I want to make sure we have the time of our lives. And I want to make sure this is just an amazing that time. That could be taking a few minutes. I mean, yeah. it could be. But, I mean, I play it at middle school freaking dances at the end of the day. Like, it's like, it's like yo, I'm playing this song at the end. Everybody's singing the song. Like, it's yeah. funny. Yeah. And everybody, and the funny thing is, the only dance move everybody remembers from the Dirty Dancing is Patrick Swayze and him lifting that damn chick up. Yeah. yeah. First of all, yeah. how strong you got to be? I can't pull up. I can't I've seen in the pool. so many parodies of that. Oh, that, right, yeah. Right? Hell, I even saw, so we mentioned that song being in, like, travel commercials. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I saw one where it's an older couple, and the woman is huge. <laughs> right, mean, yeah. Huge. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and they, they, they do that, and, uh, of course, they get injured. Yeah, right. right. It's, it's, it's somehow it transitions into the actual travel commercial. Right. Like, I mean, to, I, to that kind of strength, and then he didn't like he let her down all. You know how strong you gotta be. Right. I wonder if he really lifted her up, or if that was like a cable. I don't know because right. that. But uh, I mean, I remember too, Patrick Swayze he was a pretty big dude. Wasn't he, he? Was, yeah, he was. He was, he was muscular. Real. Yeah, he was. And real. she wasn't. She's she's not that big of a. Of That's a woman. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, she she's. She's petite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for any girl that want them to do this at their wedding with their husband, uh, first of all, check your weight. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know if all y'all can do this. I mean, y'all can do a rendition of this, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you stand on a chair and he holds. I don't know. But just, just don't do it because I don't. By the way, <laughs> I just realized Patrick Swayze's been gone for ten years now. It's yes. been ten years. It's been ten, 10 years. years. Oh, since God, Patrick Swayze passed away. It didn't away. seem yeah. like it, it seemed like it was like. I know. It seems like it was. Years. Yeah, yeah, maybe like two years ago. And also, hey. fun fact for the audience, if you're a Marvel fan, Jennifer Grey is married to Clark Gregg, a.k.a. Agent Coulson. Oh, there you yeah, go. Thank nice you for that fun fact. I appreciate that. He man. posts yes. about her all the time on his Instagram. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. True yeah. love. True yeah. love. <laughs> See, there it is. So Nobody puts my baby in the corner. Nobody yeah. puts the I wonder if he, if, he, if he ever said that to her, like... Or how often does he say that to her? <laughs> I bet he does. Right. That and, and something from Ferris Bueller, day off. He has to... I don't know what he would say from there, but... Wait, 
Because she, she wasn't in Ferris Bueller's. St- oh, I'm thinking. No, I'm yeah, thinking the, wrong main, the main, the main girl. Yeah, yeah you the main, main girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think about that? Yeah, I, I feel like uh, so '87. So it would have been like Jennifer Grey, the chick from Ferris Bueller, and then maybe Phoebe Cates. Like mm-hmm. would be like the it girls. Yeah, yeah. No, she was. Yeah. She was the sister in Ferris Bueller. Oh, she yeah. was the sister. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. She, oh yeah, that was her in the movie. I didn't even yep. correlate those two together. She was the but they sister were. who was uh, making out with um, Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that part right there. And, <laughs> and also, uh, here's something: uh, the dad in Dirty Dancing is Lumiere in View the Beast. Right. Oh. Yeah. And he passed away in 04. R.I.P. to him. R.I.P. for him. Oh, uh, you're talking about uh, Jerry yeah, Orbach. Jack Orbach. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was also uh, uh, Law and Order. Yeah, yeah, he was for a long, yeah. really long time. Yeah. So here's my question. Hey, Mike. So I want to ask you this, man. In the movie Dirty Dancing, obviously we talked about this before on other podcasts. When mm-hmm. it comes to summer, they literally at this place the whole it's entire. A, it's a summer, summer camp, right? It's a summer. It's a summer or resort. Resort. Yeah, so right, we would go yeah. there for the summer to stay. So my question to you has been. Once again, we have this. Why don't we have this anymore? Like, why don't we have places where, or maybe we just don't know about them? I, yeah. I don't know. Like, I try to do some research on some summer I camp. I mean, ba- for, ba- like, baby's father seems pretty like hoity-toity rich, so it's. But he possible wasn't that though. That's the problem. He was just a doctor. Well, well, he was a doctor, was, so never mind. Yeah, he so doctor, he so. he probably made b- mad bucks. Yeah. It, it's probably a very exclusive thing. Mm, so you think you don't know it because we're just we're not on that right we're, we're not we're, on that level we're not on that money level yet yeah yet keyword be yet right. okay then I mean so okay so but it would be nice to have something like that I I, I get what you're asking yeah yeah, yeah. It, well I mean I guess I, I would say technically we do but it's it's uh, I mean they they stay for the whole summer we do like a week or whatever but mm-hmm. it's uh yeah. you know like when you go uh on the island you go to a resort on the island that's the best way to do it. I mean, I, mean, I guess so. Yeah, you're you're right. And then they have like the little things, you know, the dancing, mm-hmm. you know, the activities. It's just it's changed because when I watch this movie, it's like they're doing corny activities. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, ah, oh, this is kind of corny. I don't. I can see yeah. why baby's bored. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, and when I went to the DR, it was mm-hmm. like. That, I mean, I guess it was corny too, but mm-hmm. I guess because I was there, it was fun. This now, one's, like, it's on a like a lake or something, right? No? Yeah, well, it, there's a there's a lake by by the resort. By yeah, the resort, there is okay. a lake by the resort. So, Mike, let me ask you this, man, because you're a person who's a, a newly uh, uh, with somebody. So, yeah. do you do you believe? I'm about to put you on the spot right now. Do you believe that you can fall in love with somebody in a matter of a few weeks, like over the summer? Like, I mean, pretty much because this they manifested. Like, I don't it because you really don't get a time frame. It says the summer and the last thing is their dance at the end of the summer with the end of summer celebration mm. but you know you can tell that she's highly into him and she, she's he's highly into her so there's a love there uh-huh can that grow can that grow in within a few weeks i mean just yes yes <laughs> yes because uh, uh yeah you know I, as you did say that one time uh uh uh, yeah, it was very apparent that I had fallen down the well. As yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and we we weren't even together for a month at that time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're now at, uh, I think, four months, maybe a little more than that. Okay, she's not watching. Don't worry about it. So uh, She might. She might. She, she might. might. But, but okay. uh, yeah, no, I, I definitely think it's uh, possible for that two characters happen. like that to, to fall in love mm-hmm. in that short amount of time. Yeah. Okay. Because... Yeah, in, in my way. case, like we we knew at the end of our first date that the the it attraction was, was right there. There was at least yeah. something special yes. there, and it would have to be produced pursue right. something. So yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, and that's and that's so that's what so uh, I liked about the movie. But for me, and this is a question I want to open up to both of you guys is, I don't know if I was really sold on it. Like I don't know if I was sold mm. on their love. Like it didn't. Like we talked about on like. For example, we talked about Independence Day, how two like all the characters pretty much meshed well together. Right. I don't know if they really meshed well together. Like, was he too bad boyish, or he wasn't really bad boyish? Was she too fem? You know what I mean? Like, was I mean, she that, too like, a, oh my god? That's yeah. the kind of love story we've seen so many times before, where she's from like a higher class yeah. and he's kind of mm-hmm. not, uh, and like they're so different, but they end up together. Like we we've seen that a lot. 
Um, but she seems so gullible. She didn't have like I feel like I, I just feel like she didn't have a mind of her own. Really, mm-hmm. I feel like she was really like gullible. As for, she would be, she would be really gullible. And the fact well, that, that she's like, ah, I don't, you know, she's but that's, like really, that's the premise of the movie. That's how come she's called baby, like in a in a very first beginning. It's like she's new to the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She says she says it. She narrates the the beginning of the movie. She mm-hmm. goes, uh, she goes. This was a time when they called me baby before mm. I knew to. I, I, I'm not. I'm misquoting yeah. it. Before I knew to uh, dispute it or whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. it was. Mm. You know what I mean? So she said right there, I was a baby. That line is saying, I'm a baby. I'm naive to the world. Like when she walks into, like I said, when she walks into the dance, she's mm. like, whoa, what's going on here? This mm. is something new. I've never seen anything like this. This is a Because she's been sheltered, though. Because she's been sheltered, right? Yeah. Both sisters, really. And, mm. um, and then there's, and even with the one part when uh, she's like, are they a couple because they're dancing so, and then she gets jealous, you know what I mean, like a yeah. whole thing, you know, and so she was, and actually she was more sheltered than her sister was, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I so, mean, it's just, it's, it, and she's supposed to be that gullible girl, and he's supposed to be that dude who's like. By the way, I, I found that quote. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, it, that was the summer of 1963 when everybody called me baby and it didn't occur to me to mind. That was before President Kennedy was shot, before the Beatles came, when I couldn't wait to join the Peace Corps and I thought I'd never find a guy as great as my dad. That was the summer we went to Kellerman's. Yeah. See, that, that line... Yeah, right? I, I, it didn't occur to me to mind. Yeah. 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 That, that one part right there lets you know she was just a child. She was but did you baby. believe their love story? Like, did you believe that they, you know fail for each other like did you like and, and there's certain movies where you you just feel the chemistry and there's so f- certain movies that you just feel like oh my mm-hmm. god like just because i mean yeah this event happened but i love you still because it happened or because it didn't happen mm-hmm. i don't know man i just don't believe like maybe it was it didn't feel genuine to me <laughs> right. what do you I mean, what do y'all think maybe it's just me no i mean i i think that's definitely possible uh, i've seen plenty of movies where the story itself, like the love story itself, can be really good, yeah. but there's just no chemistry be- between the actors mm-hmm. to sell it properly. So maybe that that's that's what you saw. Okay. Possibly. What do you think, Jay? Uh, no, I think I think they sold it well. You think they sold um, it well? Yeah. I, I think okay. overall they did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I think they I think they sold it well because I'm trying to think of uh, what I what I actually want to say. Um, like I, I, mm-hmm. I just, I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, okay. guys. Um, but they sold it. They sold it well because of she's so naive and he he's so seasoned. Mm-hmm. Right now, what I will say is that what I feel like you may have seen is maybe like a summer love. Like we have all had that summer right. love when we go. You know what I mean? Summer love, right? Happens so fast. Sorry, <laughs> I had to go to I had to go grease with y'all for a second. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, no. So that may be a thing. You know what I mean? Like I mean, that's definitely a thing. Yeah, like summer, summer flings, summer flings, and stuff yeah. like that. So uh, I think that might be something that you have you seen, like because that she have it happens so fast that it's like a summer. You know, you know what? I, now I think about it, you know what it probably was with me is in this movie she's portrayed to be what sixteen years old, seventeen years old, maybe. I thought she might have been. Younger? No, older. I, thought, older I mean, I thought, uh, I thought, I, I thought I, 18. I, I remember, yeah, something like 17. I, I don't know. She seemed very young in this movie. like, mm. And Patrick Swayze's character looked very much older. He was definitely He was. He looked like he was Cradle Robin. I don't know. I'm just curious because I'm maybe that's what that. maybe that's what killed it for him was like, Patrick, you look like, in this movie, you look like you could at least be 27. Like I swear, yeah. like you could, you look like you could be at least twenty seven years old or twenty five at the youngest, at the youngest. The, the, it, so in actuality, they were about seven years apart in okay. age. The the actors, the actual actors. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I, I, she she would have been what eight? Uh. So she would have been twenty seven. During the actual filming of the movie? Now, I, when she says she's going off to the Peace Corps, so uh, you know what, then maybe she is 18, because I would feel like yeah. she just yeah, got out of high just school. just got out of high school. Right. Like she yeah. started going to college yeah. first, she's going to the Peace Corps, so she's at least 18. Right. But he is at least 25, 27 years old. Like, right. it's not right. like, I don't, I don't. Right. <laughs> I feel like I, that's what she, uh, and so maybe that's what didn't sold it for me, but then again, does age really matter? I mean, uh, does age really matter? 
I mean, I would, I would say, I'm just yes. saying, people. It does matter. I think it at does a certain it, it, point. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> legally, Spe- obviously, especially, but you know, especially for, uh, yeah, for a fling like that. So yeah, it probably does make it yeah. seem more like the just the summer fling. Right. Mm, okay. It probably I'm just wouldn't curious. have lasted. Right. All right. So I know we went to this whole rant, but I want to say what my favorite part of the movie was. Um. So my favorite part is literally yeah the end um, <laughs> is the last dance. It's not, but you know what? No, I actually took that back. It, it's not the last dance, but it is definitely like the whole montage of them learning the dance, like mm-hmm. them at the lake and they're in the water and they're like laughing, having fun typical with each other. 80s montage. It's just yeah, it's mm-hmm. typical eighties montage, and they're just having really fun with each other. And I like that part. That's what that's what kind of drew me in, like to try to believe their love. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, because I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm not going to lie. And that was kind of cute. I was like, cool. You know what I mean? They're in the water. They're dancing. It was it was very sensual. Sensual? Sensual? Yeah. Sensual. Very sensual. And, and you can, and, and that's how I envision, like, a summer fling going or just summer love or just love in right. general. And then they basically came together through dance. Yeah. Okay? They basically came together yeah. through dance. I mean, also in the... In the course of a what hour and a half movie, mm-hmm. you, you can't yeah. really encapsulate every, every single, single moment movie. in between. Right. Right. Yeah, that's true. Because I'm thinking to myself, damn it, like you, she didn't, didn't know how to dance one bit, and you turned her into this like flower. I don't know what to tell you. Like she was dancing really well. You know what I mean? She got these like motions, like even so as dumb as that little head thing. Like that's the, like yeah. the thing I remember the most. Yeah. <laughs> like yo, like I don't know what it was, but she sold that shit. The first time she's like fucked up, couldn't do it. Then the second time she's like. Yeah, that looks good. That looks, <laughs> you know what's wrong. I'm talking about. Shut up. Okay, anyway. so Jen- Jennifer Gray's character was supposed to be 17. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm assuming they, they will make him... He, 21? 20? <laughs> like, like see, see how you scratch your head? Like, I could... I don't, come I, on, I people, click people, if y'all know exactly <laughs> what age y'all think they were, because they... He looked very much but, old. I mean, and it, but back then, also in the 60s, it was a different time. Like, they would... You, you're not tripping as much for a 20 year old to date a 17 year old. Now we're like, right. yo, bro, like, get out of here with that. Yeah, I'm um, okay. I mean, that's back then. So what did you guys? What did you guys think about the whole him taking the heat for, you know, the girl who got pregnant by one of the people that worked there, and he took the heat saying that it was pretty much him. You know, unofficially said it. You know what I mean? Mm. Which looked when baby looked at him like, oh, what? Hold on, I'm sorry. He was supposed to be 25. That's too damn yeah, see, old. Oh, well, see, I'm sorry. see, there we oh, go. Look, that's too old. I was, I, look, I was trying to get. I thought he was, he was trying right. to be 20. But, but, 20, but what I'm saying though, it, it, like a, it, it's like a college student dating their professor, I guess. Right. Well, yeah, the, the young hot professor. Well, right. Right. 25, <laughs> 17. So what you give I mean, them? How many years is that? Eight years between each other? Yeah. I mean that's cool. Which is close to how they were in, in actuality. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean it's that's it's cool. Crazy. It's so. cool if she was if she was twenty one and then eight years later what what's that? Uh he's thirty uh or he's close to thirty, he won't be thirty yet, right? She's twenty one, he's thirty two. Twenty twenty nine or something. Oh, 30, yeah, thirty three. He's talking about eight years from twenty five, right? If if he's twenty one I mean she's if she's twenty one. Oh she's twenty one. She's twenty one, that would make him what? Uh well, shit. Now you got me doing math, Jay. 29. 29. Yeah, 29. 29. That, that's better. Because she could drink. She's legal. She's she's <laughs> legal legal. I so. bet you some of y'all never thought about that. And I just ruined the movie for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I'm like, it literally bothered me a little bit. I'm like, yo, he looks old as fuck. Like, he, like yeah. Because he wasn't, he was he was actually in his 30s. But, I yeah, mean. Yeah, exactly. Like you said. Because they had a full on, they had, not a full on. They had a sex scene. They did. They had a sex scene. But we not tripping off that. <laughs> but we're but we're not tripping off that. We're not tripping that the twenty five year old portrayed in the movie is having sex with a seventeen year old. People betray betrayals in the movie. Now, if y'all know something else about Dirty Dancing, their real ages. I mean, the ages they're supposed to play in the movie. Then let me know. But for right now, we just looked it up. Patrick Swayze's character Johnny was supposed to be twenty five, and Baby was supposed to be fucking seventeen. Yeah. No. We get it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We get it. Right? It's like I, it's like I said. It's like the the freshman in college dating their young hot professor. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, I guess where people get in trouble for that now. You can't date they your get, professor. Yeah. No, you can't even do that. Damn, like damn. But, the, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Back then, that wasn't that wasn't as 
fr- as frowned upon as it was, nah. as it is now. You know what I mean? I don't know, look at what we got. We got into this. We're not even PG-13 anymore. We're just PG. we almost borderline G now. Like, we, we're not even like a PG. You know, back in w- back, WWE had, you know, the... The attitude era. We're not. And this is known as the PG era. We now. We, I think we might enter into the G era pretty soon. Here, we're going to enter into the G area, and then we're not gonna be able to say nothing. You can't. You can't be able to cuss on anything. You're not gonna be able to call nothing. No. Anyway, I'm not even going that way. I was gonna say I don't even know where, the, where that came from. Uh, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Mike, do you have a favorite part in uh, Dirty Dancing? <laughs> Jigs up. I've never seen the movie. You've never seen Dirty Dancing? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god, man. Are you serious? Uh, I've seen parts of it from... Uh, I hope your girl's watching or listening because she's going to be like, how come you? we're watching it right now? We're watching <laughs> right. it right now because you've never seen Dirty Except Freaking Except for dancing. you just ruined it for her with the age difference. Oh, I probably did. I probably, so, did. <laughs> I, pro- I probably did. I'm, my bad. My bad. I ruined Dirty Dancing for everybody. Not really. You're still going to watch it. Nobody cares anymore, I guess. But I'm just saying. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay, so the, the, the most exposure I've gotten to this movie was sitting on an airplane. I was watching something else, and the guy in the seat in front of me was watching it, and I could just kind of see it, like, <laughs> you know, over, over his shoulder. Over the shoulder. You don't even know yeah. what was going on. Like, like, oh, okay, like, people dancing. I was like, oh, this looks cool. But, no, I wasn't catching any of it. Okay, <laughs> Jay. I want to ask you this, then, since I can't ask this guy. <laughs> I'll come back to you, Mike. Okay. But, Jay, I want to ask you this. Do you feel like... Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get the movie right. Because, actually, there's like probably two movies like this. Do you feel that Step Up is the new modern version of Dirty Dancing? Oh. Mm. Have you ever thought about that? I never thought about that. And, and, and I'm, I'm kind of in a boat with Mike on Step Up. I mean, I've seen... I've seen Cli- like I've, I've seen it on TV okay, and I really. watched it and then I changed it and I came back to it. Mm-hmm. So I never seen it fully through, but I do know that that the girl is the the rich. Uh, she's rich and the dude is poor, or uh, and he's okay. I tell you what, I, I'll do something better so for you. I, I, but I will say yes. I will say yes. Just not as it's not as good as okay. I was, I'll say this for you then, because I'm gonna be kind of racist here, because I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this one. All right. I so <laughs> say the last dance. I was that, gonna say that. Yeah. What about say the last dance? Do you this feel one like, I have seen. <laughs> how do you feel, yeah. do you feel like say the last dance was close to Dirty Dancing? I think yes, in a say, much more dramatic way. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna say that M- much more on hot button issues. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so we, so here we go. Question is what we always ask: Should they remake Dirty Dancing or? Did we already have a remake in movies like Step Up or and movies like Say, Say the Last, Last Dance? Dance? I feel like we have. Well, I, I feel like we've had success, uh, successor type movies that kind of like captured the spirit, but like went in new directions like that. Okay, what do you think, Jay? Um, I would say we we have uh, we they actually. I don't know if it's called if it's a sequel or if it's a. Remake, but there's Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights. Yeah, that's a that's a yeah terrible. Anyway, I've never seen. It's it. not really a sequel. It's another. Yeah, it's anyway. just a se- it's, it's just a separate movie. Separate movie, it's a separate movie in itself. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. um, mm-hmm. and they had a TV series as well, which well, I think killed and, it. And, and you know what? They did do a remake as well uh, about two years ago. Uh, did they? Yeah. They did do a remake. Oh, no. a musical reimagining of the 1980s. Oh, they, oh, they, did, a, film. they did a musical. Oh, yeah. was, was it like a, a like a, like a like a like a theater type? Yeah, like, yeah, like a theater. Thing. Like what did they do that? No, it was year, a, like, it was a TV movie. Oh, a TV, oh, a TV like, movie. But, uh, yeah, so it was with Abigail Breslin and Cole Pratz. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it like oh. like on? Uh, yeah, I didn't. Because I, I was gonna say that. they 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 do they. Every year, uh, I'm gonna say NBC does a live mm-hmm. uh, theater production of a different thing. So one year it was like Peter Pan, another year it was something okay. else, and it was like one one year it was The Wiz. Mm-hmm. And um, I've never I never heard of it. I yes. mean this, this this remake, but I mean it was over two hours long. You know why I haven't heard of it? Because it's rated a three point one out of ten. That's why I never heard of it. Yeah. Right. That re- plus they they've done remakes of dance movies already. They did. Uh, they did the one with uh, Kevin Bacon. Um, 
Footloose? Footloose, yeah. They yeah, that's Footloose. what I was saying. So they did do Footloose, and, uh, you know... And they, and, 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 and they just recently did, uh, what was it, Hairspray? Hairspray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that, that was, Grease was, had a reboot. Yeah, yeah. Too many. Well, Grease, you pretty much had it with, you know, your boy, you guys... Uh, John Travolta? No. I mean, uh, the movie, uh, the Disney movie. High School Musical. That's pretty much Grease. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, let's be honest. It's pretty much a modern Grease. I uh, guess. It's a modern Grease. Stop it. They All are. Right, what were you going to have me look up? Oh, just uh, IMBD score of Dirty Dancing, the Curse. The, the yeah, original? The original. So uh, It has a 6.9 out of 10. So 6.9 out of 10. Do y'all think that's worth a 6.9 out of 10? I, Don't ask me. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jay, I think, think it's I it? think it should be higher, honestly. I like this movie. I feel like okay. most people would say it should be higher. Yeah, I, I feel like it should at least be in the... Sevens to eights. Okay. If, not, if, if not it's considered nine. a classic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mm, okay. So here's the thing. 6.9, I'm not like, I'm not like saying like, I think that's okay. I don't think I would give any higher. Probably maybe in a seven, 7.5. Only reason I'd be in, because it's now a classic. I, I, not now. I think back then it wasn't like, a, it wasn't an instant classic. Let's put it that way. It took over time, I would say. You think so? I feel like that. I feel like it, like it made sense I mean, over I think, time. I think maybe, I think maybe men didn't like it at the time. I think it was, you know, the yeah, you know, you know, men, men don't really like. It's not really a man movie. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Especially in the eighties. Eighties got all these road. I mean, Kevin Bacon with Patrick Swayze, Roadhouse, and uh, what's what's your movie like? Uh, Black China, uh, Black China, uh, China, and what is it? Uh, little to- like, oh, big, uh, uh, big Trouble in Little big Tokyo. Ch- yeah, thank you. Um, like those type of movies were like you know, Arnold, you know, yeah. it was like man movies. So I think this was more of a, I guess, I guess a chick flick, a chick flick, yeah. And but I think if you watched it, like when you went, if you were with your girl, you went to the movies and watched it, you'd be like, you actually enjoyed it coming out the the movies. You know what I mean? Wasn't bad. Yeah, you're like, oh, I, I mean, like that. I mean, I think, I think for me though, with this movie is I'm thinking about just the most iconic thing in this movie is the song. That song that was made in the eighties for a sixties movie, yeah, and that song has, like I said, transcend time. Like that song is played at a lot of weddings. That song is played at a lot of high school, and middle I, school dances, right? And I think, and, it, I mean, and I, I feel like that's the reason why it's like. But if I ask kids, hey, what's this song from? I, I, half of them probably wouldn't even know it came from the movie Dirty Dancing. By the way, I mean, so, so I'm looking at uh, uh, Roger Ebert's review from 1987 here. Okay, he says so. I think this. Quick little blurb kind of sums up his whole thoughts on the movie and like probably the the general consensus of the time. I, right. I guess. Yeah. The movie makes some kind of half-hearted attempt to rip off West Side Story by mm. making the gir- girl Jewish and the boy Italian or Irish. I forget. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't even think about I that. I didn't think of that. No, not at all. Because we can't. Because West Side Story is just. Well, that's well, see, a remake that's of Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. 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 Right, and that's I mean, true, all, but it all works. these all these movies are basically that you know mm-hmm. Romeo. I mean, if you want to put it, they, all, all these dance movies are you could say stem from uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet. I guess since since what you call it, uh, West Side Story takes Romeo and Juliet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just the only difference is in this they're not fighting, mm-hmm. and most in Step Up they're not fighting. The two different sides aren't fighting each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and, it's uh, a different kind last, of fight. It's an internal say, fight. More yeah, say last dance. They're not fighting, uh, you know, the mm-hmm. other sides. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but like you said, it's an internal fighting. It's, and then say last dance did a. That's <laughs> funny. Is did a step up from this movie and made them interracial. You right. know, with a white right. white girl and a black yeah, girl. Yeah, I, I remember and, that and, being and, the, 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 the central just, part of the. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and that, that was the battle. Right. That was part yeah. of the battle. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, and it was it was still like the whole. Well, I'm. I'm better than what people think I am. And, yeah. And, but, but then, see, the problem with me was Say the Last Dance. That's why I can't set Step Up, because since you haven't really seen it, Say the Last Dance, they didn't dance together at the end. Step Up, they did. Right. So, you know, in Step Up, you have a guy from a similar background who was just really good at dancing. He's like hip hop, whatever the case may be. And he really doesn't know nothing about classical. He gets in trouble and he lands a job at that studio. And then, then that's how they that's fall how in love. They, right. You know what I mean? But they, they make a dance together. Right, you right. see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at is the uh, fact that he came to her aid, just like well, in I mean, Dirty Dancing. Yeah, but I mean, it's, and same thing. I mean, you can say the same thing for Say Last Dance. Is be, and he came to her aid to help her get over that hump of her mom passing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And 
and they, he taught her, he gave her new moves to put in that ballet, which made them go, oh, wow, this is... I guess, but you just see them together. It'd be nice to see them together. But yeah. I guess that's why I'm saying, though, don't remake the movie. Leave it where it's at. You know, at yeah. a, a film that is a classic, not cult classic, it's a classic, and leave it alone because we've had so many different movies already like that from different time periods and genres because... When you think about it, like I said, we keep talking about Say the Last Dance, which came out in the 90s, and right. Then, right, or early 2000s. Uh, I think it was 2001. Yeah, I think it's early 2000s. And then you had Step Up, and then that came out in 2000s, yeah, was and you had like 15,000 Step Ups after that. So, right. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. And I've, so, I've seen, I've seen, I've, I've never seen all of them, but I've seen bits and pieces of Yeah, them. I mean, you only watch it for Moose anyway, because he's a freaking phenomenal dancer. If you know who Moose is, he's like... If you had to like, if you had to see Michael Jackson as a like a teenager, this is Michael Jackson as a teenager, like same light bright. Like anyway, he's good. Anyway, um, he's just a good dancer. He's a really good dancer. His name is Moose. Google him, search him. You'll know who I'm talking about. So, what are your guys? Some of your final thoughts on the movie? Say last. I mean, sorry. <laughs> on Dirty Dancing. Uh, well, I think Dirty Dancing is a great movie. Uh, watch it. You you will enjoy it. I, I feel like. Uh, okay. I mean, but I'm also I also like to dance. So when I see people dancing, it makes me want to dance. So I'm like, oh, look at them get down. Um, you think you could dance like that? Yeah. Would you learn to dance like that? Yeah. I okay. mean, it's not that hard. It's okay. not that hard. Those dancing they were doing weren't that hard. Well, you know, what you know, Mike would dance, you dance like Mike, would you do that? I'd like to learn. You like to learn? Uh, yeah. That's it. That's one of the quickest yeah. ways to a woman's heart, you know, is to dance. I know. You know, you just got to get that little... I mean, man, you know what I mean? See, you know woman's suge- Latina, I've right? Been, I've been suggesting some bachata classes. Oh, Oh, you want you want a bachaka? Oh, uh, yeah. I know a club down the street, man. Right. Let me know. I'll I'll take you up there, man. That ain't no that ain't for the lighthearted though. Oh, I know. Oh yeah, yeah. Your girl <laughs> Latina, you girl, you boy, you learn how to Latino dance on there, get a little salsa, a little merengue, a little bachata. You you over there, she gonna fall in love. She gonna be like, you ain't leaving the house, <laughs> boy. You start dancing that Latin dance. It's about. Yeah, man. I learned how to dance from Ricky Ricardo. I ain't gonna lie. I'm watching so much Ida Lucy when I was younger. I learned how to do his little step. Boom, and every, so every time, every time I go to a dance, like a Latin dance, and I just, I, and, oh, you know, I do like, yeah, Ricky Ricardo, baby, right here, uh, 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 Ricky Ricardo, I'm I, trying to tell I, y'all. Uh, when I went to the DR, you know what I mean, they, they were, I don't, I, I don't know the name of the dance, but they're salsa or right, whatever it was, mm-hmm. and they didn't know, I mean, I'm not like classically trained, but yeah. I was just, you know. Anything like that, but when I get on the dance floor, I can I can do I can imitate what I see basically. Got so you. so the girls are out there doing it, and then they they're just like oh, and I got, I got out there and I start dancing with the girls, and mm-hmm. they're like, and I'm talking about the workers, the ones who know what they're doing. Yeah, and I start leading them dancing, and they're just like oh my god, I didn't know you knew how to do all this. <laughs> yeah, hey, girl. They start speaking Spanish to me. You Dominican? No, nope, I'm just what up, Nancy. Nancy, what's Which up? Nancy? What's up, Nancy? How you doing? She just says it's a great movie. Yes, yes, it was. Especially as a summer movie. It is. Yeah. A summer. So it's funny, right? Because Nancy, Fancy Nancy Pants, is an you know, ultimate fan. She be watching the show. Super so fan. Sh- shout Super out fan. Nancy. But we also have another Nancy named Nancy oh. Johnson, who this is one of her favorite movies. So I was like, oh. make sure you tune in because we're doing your favorite movie tonight. So I think that's that. Nancy Johnson on there. Uh, no, that's Lopez. That's Oh, so never mind. That's the other yeah. Nancy. What's up, Nancy? But there's two Nancys now. So there oh, you go. Nice. So we got two Nancys, which is pretty is pretty interesting. So we, we know and we pertain to the Nancy audience. So <laughs> if we had a we had a podcast full of Nancys, we'd be great. Uh, but um, definitely, man, um, final thoughts, Mike. What do you think on this movie that you didn't see, but you know enough about now? What do you think? You think it's something you need to go actually go home and watch with your girl? I think so. Okay. Yeah. See? I think she would love to. There you uh, go. Have a night in watching that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you can practice the, the yeah. lift. The lift. Yeah. You can practice yeah. the lift. Yeah. I need to. You use more push ups? I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty twiggy right now. So, yeah. <laughs> I work on that. Yeah. You, you, only need, you only need to hold it for like three seconds. If you can lift a girl in the air during a dirty dancing song, I swear it's like empty pennies will probably come off. I swear, right. like, the song right. came on, you'd be like, come on. It's like, no. Come on, I got you. And you actually do it? She'd be like, boy, you better get your ass in this corner. <laughs> Start taking awesome shit. I'm saying, I'm like, what's, what's, Let's what's be real with it. It was a movie that they did that in. Uh, they, they, they got drunk. And they were like, let's see if we could do it. And it was Ryan Gosling and uh, Emma Stone. In La La Land? Uh, or, no, or no, no, the other one. Um, they, uh, I, 
I know which one you're talking you know about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what movie y'all talking about, so it's kind of. Yeah, it, it was one where it's a bunch of different couples. Yeah, it's right? a bunch of different yeah. couples. Yeah, yeah. And she, yeah, he, and they, they keep trying it, and she keeps getting scared. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just like in the it's movie, the one where she says someplace. something about, like, he, he looks all photoshopped or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, that's it. I, I don't know what movie, movie you guys are talking about, but uh, I don't know what Nancy a, said. It's earlier, like a rom com right? type movie. It's, it's funny. What did Nancy say? Uh, no one puts Blast from the Past movie podcast in the corner. That's, that's right. right. That's right. No one puts the Blast from the Past movie podcast <laughs> in a corner. <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Nancy. Thank you for the quote, Nancy. Nance. That's right. So, once again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in on the Facebook live feed. Thank you for tuning in on the Instagram live feed. And the YouTube, thank you guys for watching, guys. Woo. Once again, this has been the Blast from the Past movie podcast. I've been one of your hosts, CJ. Jeremiah J. White. I'm not <laughs> back. Uh, Matt Mike. <laughs> Boy, you got merengue right, and right, salsa yeah, on the yeah, mind right. right now, so... Yeah. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. And guys, this has been the Blast from the Past Movie Podcast. We be out. Peace. CJ the host with the most. No telling really where we gonna go. Just strap your seat, go up and roll. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, if you didn't know, no, not yet, no. no. Just to come up, watch me glow. The lights, camera, start the show.